हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एस एस सी सेलेक्टर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस चैनल आई ब्रिंग वेरियस क्वेश्चन विच आर आज इन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम टूडे आई हैव ब्रॉड अ क्वेश्चन इन विच देर इज स्क्वायर गिवन ए बी सी डी ऑफ साइट थ्री सेंटीमीटर now another square is formed joining the midpoint of abcd so suppose the midpoint of abcd are pqrs so this is another square which is formed by joining the midpoints now joining the midpoints of pqrs let us say there is another square x y z w and this process is repeated infinitely now we have to calculate the sum of areas of all the squares now let us see how we can calculate this abcd is a square of side 3 cm so each side of abcd is 3 cm as it is a square now we have joined the midpoints of ab bc cd so this is the midpoint p is the midpoint of ab q is the midpoint of B, C, R, and S. These are the midpoints of A, B, B, C, C, D, and A, B. Now let us calculate the length of P, Q. Now if A, B, C, D, P is the midpoint of A, B, so this is three by two, and this is also three by two. To calculate the value of P, Q, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. P, Q square is equals to P, B square plus B, Q square. Now PB is three by two, and BQ is also three by two. Three nine by four and nine by four. That is eighteen by four or nine by two. So we can write eighteen by four. So PQ square is eighteen by four. So PQ is under root eighteen by four. Eighteen under root is three root two, and four is two. So three root two by two. 3 by 2 root 2. So this value is 3 by 2 root 2. Now let us calculate the area of ABCD. Area of ABCD is side square. It's AB square. AB is 3. 3 square, 9. Now let us calculate area of PQRS. That is also side square, and the side of This PQ square, and we have the value of PQ square, that is eighteen by four. Eighteen by four is nine by two. So when we join the midpoint of ABCD, the area comes out to be half of ABCD. So we can say that area of ABCD is nine, and area of PQRS is nine by two. Now suppose I join the midpoint of when we join the midpoint of PQRS and the value is the square is x y z w, so area of x y z w will be half of this and that will be nine by four. And we have to calculate the sum of all sum of areas of all the squares. And that will be equal to nine plus nine by two plus nine by four plus nine by eight, and so on up to infinity. And this is a GP up to infinity, and the sum of infinity of a GP is given by a upon one minus r. Here a is the first term, which is nine, and r is common ratio, which is one by two. That is nine by two by nine and one by two. So put the value here. A is nine, R is one by two. One minus half is half. Nine into two will be eighteen. Sum of areas of all the squares will be eighteen. So friends, hope you like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel to get more such videos.